Hi, I'm Doug the Neighbor. February is the shortest month of the year, but it can be one of the best months of the year if you know what you're doing. It's still cold outside, so no painting or yard work. You can go skiing, cross country, downhill, apre with the ski bunnies. Taxes and Christmas bills are dribbling in, but we got time. But there's a major trap in February. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was invented by the same people who invented nail salons and jewelry stores. Those people are guilt specialists. Think of Valentine's Day as the only iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean. And you are the Titanic sailing blindly along, unaware of what's in the dark, and if you do it wrong, boom, you sink like a rock. Single guys, do not start a relationship before Valentine's Day. If you took her out in January, do not call her again until March. If you're in a messy, shaky, lovey thing, cut her from the team now. Married men, try and tie the Christmas present to include Valentine's Day. This takes practice, and avoid taking her out on the 14th. Odds are Valentine's Day falls on a weekday. Blame work and take her out on a Friday or a Saturday, and avoid those $200 dinners. If the 14th falls on a weekend, bump it to the next weekend and promise to take her to a Neil Diamond concert. Hockey tickets won't cut it. But you gotta buy her flowers. It's okay to buy them at the grocery store or borrow them from the neighbor's yard. Put the flowers in a vase so you don't give yourself away. A card, jewelry, some chocolates. Teddy bear is optional. If you want to play, you got to pay, or you sleep with the fishes, Mr. Titanic. The rest of February, smooth sailing right into March Madness. February, a man's month, if you do it right.